controversy involving the L.A. County D.A.'s office and R&B singer John Legend. The office is being accused of special treatment in a case involving the singer. Yeah, well, earlier this week, a man was arrested after being accused of attempting to steal Legend's Porsche. KTLA's Kareen Winter is live in downtown L.A. with more on the controversy and why the D.A.'s office is accused of showing favoritism. Kareen. Hi there, Cher. Well, this report, it first aired at 3.30, and at that time, the DA's office uh, responded to some of this criticism that they're now facing. Just moments ago, they sent another statement, a lengthy statement. We'll have that to you at the end of our report. But first, here's more on some of the criticism DA George Gascon continues to face. The one and only John Legend. Hey, my friend George Gascon. He's one of Hollywood's biggest entertainers, singer, songwriter, and producer John Legend, a longtime supporter of LA County DA George Gascon, who he backed in 2020 during his election bid. But he decided to run anyway, and we appreciate you for doing that. Critics say that close relationship influenced a case the DA's office has now placed on their radar. The star was recently working inside a recording studio when a suspect tried stealing his Porsche. That person didn't get far. The LAPD soon arrested the guy on suspicion of attempted grand theft auto. But this is what got critics fuming. An internal email John Harlan, the DA's acting head deputy, sent to prosecutors, putting them on notice that he wanted to stay informed about the case. The LAPD kicked up to their office for review. This specific case, it, it has the appearance of impropriety because he's trying to get the case before it's even filed, before the case is even presented. And so that's unusual. LA County Deputy DA Jonathan Atami. He and other prosecutors believe Legend's case received special treatment because of his prior endorsement of Gascon. In that email that KTLA obtained, Harlan asked prosecutors to quote, please be on the lookout for this case. If it appears in the DA's records, the header, Bolo, be on the lookout. Singer John Legend, victim of attempted auto theft. A move Hitami says is a slap in the face to many crime victims who have not received this type of attention from the DA, let alone justice in their cases. You have somebody, John Legend, who's given him money, who's given George Gascon money. John Legend, who's had fundraisers for George Gascon. John Legend, who's friends with George Gascon. And now you're going out of your way to find a uh, the filings before, before they've even pre presented to a DA. And it sure looks like that you're trying to give him favor favoritism. Legend hasn't just supported Gascon on the campaign trail, but online. Tweeting after Gascon's election, our new DA just announced some major reforms on his first day. Proud to have supported his election. This is the kind of change we voted for and the kind of change we need to bring our system closer to true justice. Strong statements from this celebrity that have fallen flat with prosecutors who've handled some of the most horrific cases, like those involving child torture and death. They say the DA has given less weight to in prosecuting. George Gascon can care less about any of my cases, and those are cases where children are killed. I've never heard George Gascon one time ask me or talk to me about any of the cases uh, of the hundreds and thousands of cases of children who are molested or children who are killed. No, he cares about very, very wealthy people. And now I want to read a statement from Tiffany Blacknell. She's a communications director with Mr. Gascon's office. She just sent us a lengthy statement again moments ago, and it reads the allegation that we gave preferential treatment to a case involving John Legend is baseless. It is a routine practice for the head deputy of the Charge Evaluation Division to seek information on all cases that are generating media interest. This matter was treated the same way any media case is treated. By the filing unit, our office did not file this case. It was referred to the L.A. County Attorney's Office back on November 23rd for misdemeanor filing consideration. Again, that statement coming from George Gascon's communication director. That's very latest here in downtown Los Angeles. Kareen Winter, KTLA 5 News. Kareen, thank you.